This is my second cinnamon roll. Day 176. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, October 30th uh, at 8.33 a.m. I am here at Unicoi Gap, uh, mile 52. Yes, mile 52. And I am slack packing today northbound back to the uh, around the Bend Hostel, which is mile 69. And that is Dick's Creek Gap. I have a climb straight up right from the start. Uh, I think there is a few uh, two mountain climb, Trey Mountain. That is, um, I heard pretty steep, but other than that, just puds as usual. All right, look at this huge parking lot at Unicoi Gap. <clears throat> It's still raining. This is day three of rain. Yes, that's why I decided to slack back and then stay the second night at the hostel. <laughs> Platinum blazing continues. Hey, I can do it, so why not? I hate steps. I hate it. Every time you have to step up, it's like, Ugh! I'd rather have a, a regular incline, not steps like this. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put my phone in the Ziploc bag because it is raining. And I'll update you guys later. So right now, I'm climbing Rocky Mountain, elevation 3200. I still have 1.1 mile left. And I've gone 0.3 miles. Let me tell you though, not having a 30 pound pack uh, makes a big difference. <laughs> uh, well, usually my pack weigh range from 28 to 32. Maybe even lower, 20, 27 to 32, depending on the amount of my food. <sighs> 915 now uh, I'm on top of Rocky Mountain the first mountain right uh, from the parking lot I've walked a mile and a half to this top and the wind has picked up <sighs> tomorrow is gonna be nice <laughs> you guys I looked up the weather forecast for possible weather on my summit it's not summit day <laughs> What is it called? Well, I'm summiting spring or mountain, so my end day is going to be sunny and nice, so I'm happy about that. I think I'm going to do the approach trail. I'm ahead of schedule as of now, so I'll have time to do the 8.8 .8 mile. Is it 8.8 .8 or 8 miles? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I'll see you later. I just want to show you this view. Well, there's no view, it's just the trees and uh, drizzles of rain coming through sometimes. I'm going to miss this. <sighs> that could have been a nice view, but not today. Foggy. Wow, yeah, that could have been a nice view right there. I'm still on top of Rocky Mountain. No, I am not in Colorado. <laughs> Bad. It's now 9.55 and I have arrived at Indian Grave Gap. I, I went up and down Rocky Mountain. I'm going to continue now. There's a car that stopped there. I don't know why. Big pipe for water source. I don't need water. I 
see, I'm at mile mm, 55.7, maybe. Oh, steps. Lots of camping. And easy trail, Bobo. I'll see you in a few days, Bobo. I hope you remember me. <laughs> what if he hates me? What if he's mad? <sighs> it's now 10.30. Um, I'm at mile 56.4. I am currently climbing Trey Mountain. And the summit is in 1.3 miles. Uh, from I've been climbing, but from this point, it'll be 700 feet climb. Shouldn't be that bad. We'll okay. see. Okay, here's the uh, climb, the final climb towards the summit, point eight. I am almost at the top of Trey Mountain. The climb is not that bad. It's actually one of the uh, more pleasant climb. I'm able to walk it fast. It is now 11.05. Oh, what is this? Too bad. It's foggy today. So I can't see anything. But I'm also slack packing today. But it's really not that steep compared to other mountains that I've <laughs> climbed. Like Wesserbald. Woo! Wesserbald was tough. Okay, time to get back down. And then I think after this, it should be pretty much easy trail bobo for the next maybe 12 miles all the way back to the hostel. The Dick's Creek Gap. I forgot. Okay, bye. So to future hikers, I just want to remind you, uh, down step technique. When you're hiking, don't slam your heel into the ground. Um, this is to prevent knee pain or knee injury. You have to um, uh, step with toe ball heel instead of, instead of this, ow, this. You step to ball heel and bend your knee to a ball heel. <clears throat> so you don't wear out your buffer, your knee buffer, whatever it's called. Sorry, my English is not that good. Sometimes probably confusing for people to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm used to this. I walk like this. <laughs> Naturally, because as a dancer, you always walk with toe first, toe landing first. Even if it's downhill, toe ball heel, toe ball heel. <clears throat> all right, that's all. This is mile 61.1. I have about eight more miles to go. Far it's easy trail bobo. Oh, I am at mile 62.4. I just climb something I didn't know, but it says round top there. I don't know how accurate that is. Is that really the name of this summit? This peak? Round top. Don't know. Oh my god. I have about 6.8 more miles. Oh, I can't stop thinking about food. Uh, maybe another ice cream and um, maybe some burritos in the in the freezer that they have in the hostel. He. <sighs> I 
I'm in the middle of this brutal climb of Kelly Knob. It's only a mile long. I'm um, I have 0.6 mile left, but I'm I go get a bucket, book, get a bucket, book, and then stop. <laughs> 0.4 miles left to the top of Kelly Knob. 285 more feet climbing. Going fast. Get a bucket, book, get a bucket, book, and then I stop. Oh, it's tapering. Okay, not as steep. It was so steep earlier. My legs were burning and I was dying. I'm at the peak of Kelly Knob. It was tough. Oh my God, even slackpacking. I hate Kelly Knob. There's another Kelly Knob. Um, I'm going down now. It's kind of raining. There's another Kelly Knob a few weeks back, right before I reached Parisburg. That's the day I broke into hives. And um, I hiked six miles to be picked up by Angel's Rest Hostel. And I had to climb a Kelly Knob. And I was dying. I thought I was gonna faint. And I, I was feeling nauseous. It was straight climb, very steep. And um, I didn't have enough to eat and it was hot and I didn't have enough water. I thought I was not gonna make it. Cindy was feeling the same way that day. And then as I was dying, um, um, feeling nauseous and fainting, these two, this one couple, husband and wife, ran past me, not ran, but they were faster. They passed me and I, they saw me struggling and they said, enjoy it. And I'm like, I won't, <laughs> I will not. How dare you say that? <laughs> what through hiker say that kind of things to another through hiker? You don't say that, especially looking at your fellow through hiker struggling and you don't say enjoy it or have a great hike. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, enough about Kelly Knob. It's it's all over. I'm going down now. There's no more climb. No more climb. Uh, I have less than five miles into um. Uh, oh my God! I forgot. Dick's Dick's Creek Gap. I'm back at the hostel, and I'm gonna eat a lot. 3:45. I'm done with my hike. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to not. Let this water drip on my phone. I'm at Dick's Creek Gap and waiting for Lisa from the hostel to pick me up. Look at this rain. I've been hiking in this rain for about two or three hours now. <sighs> I'm glad I'm back at the hostel. <laughs> Camping in this weather will be fun, but tomorrow should be sunny. <sighs> it's been three days of bad weather. This is Dick's Creek Gap again. There's a picnic table there. Somebody's missing. Lucas Baxter, 18 years old. Last seen Friday, October 22nd.